Oh my god, let's try okay, something. Okay, I see what that happened on TV last Oh yeah, I always watch. Oh my god. It's so fun. It was so good. Yeah, bad. I watched that. Yeah. Cool. Hello. Hi guys, how are you? It feels like it's been a while since our last um, episode so, because we had to do a quick episode last week yeah because we're seeing a show on tuesday which did we ever talk about the show no because we haven't been on since then oh the show was really good um it was mac and val's stripped down tour and they did Mm -hmm. a bunch of like ballroom dances they had two girls dance with them they were really really good they were so good i love their solos yeah the solos were so good they did this really beautiful contemporary dance to i don't know it was like an instrumental song but It was, like, all about COVID and how you, like, couldn't touch people and stuff. And it was just so beautiful the Mm -hmm. way they did it. And it really made me happy to be back in theater. And also made me very sad that that year and a half has been taken away from us. Right. I agree. I agree. And how fucked up that actually is. Like. Yeah, totally. It really just made me. It just really cemented in me how much we need art and we need music and we need just activities in life to sort of make us feel human yeah and how I really haven't been feeling human in a really long time yeah I agree like it felt really good to um go finally go to a show and just like be be with I mean it would have been nice if the audience was fuller yeah there Um, wasn't a lot of people there wasn't a lot of people there because probably because they're scared of you know, the they're Delta. probably not s- selling out max tickets. Right, they're doing like limited people are probably scared to go, etc. So it, it, it's hard because it is a different vibe when the audience isn't full. Exactly. You know, I when agree. you have like a full full house, there's something that's magical about it. Yeah. So. But, you know, we got moved down because we were in the top. Yeah, we bought tickets for $20 in, like, the back row, and they moved us down to the front row in Tier 1. So. Right. We were right there. Like, it felt. And it felt better to spend $25 than, like, $75 for Yeah, because we, we sort of debated. Get... Yeah, because we were going to buy tickets, like, off the website. It was $70, and then I just randomly got on Groupon because I was like, let mm-hmm. me just see. And tickets were $25 on Groupon. So I was like, okay. Yeah, might as well do this. Might and then as well we do ended this. up getting tickets that were probably you know, $75 anyway worth. Exactly. So. No, those nice. tickets were like $110. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's we hard, did luck though. out. We went out to, we were like, we're going to, we're going to go out to eat. We're going to do Go get some stuff. drinks. We're going like, to have a fun little Newark before date. We go to the show and. Guys, Newark's not cute. Newark's not cute. The area, I mean, I already knew that, but it solidified it for me. There's no restaurants open. There's no restaurants open. It is a shit there's show. There's no restaurants. There's no restaurants. Like, like first and foremost, there's just no nightlife, at least in this section that we were in. Yeah. And then what was there was either shut down because of COVID, I'm assuming, or didn't open until like seven or eight. Right. Which makes no sense because it was a Tuesday and there's a show, there's the, the um, NJ Pack right there. Like, you feel like people would want to build restaurants and bars and mm-hmm. stuff there. Because the only thing that is anywhere even close to NJ Pack is the restaurant that's attached to NJ Pack called Nico's. And if the food wasn't good, I would be writing a really bad review because the service was atrocious. Yeah, the service was not good. And they were only taking reservations. We didn't know. They were like, so the only people that don't have, you know, if you don't have reservations, you can only go to the bar. But the bar was full. But something you have to know about me Mm -hmm. is that I always find a spot at the bar. Yeah. So we so I told Stevie I was like there's a chair over here there's a chair over here and we were like let's just go try to find something near and that like near and that's when we really realized that there's nothing and I was like let's go back and like let's see if those two bar stools are still there because we're fucking going to sit down like I have a knack for finding space at the bar I don't know it's just a special talent I have so my ass walked straight up to the bar Tells the lady, hey, are you using this chair? Because her, her fucking purse was on the chair. No, 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 no. You're not paying for that bar stool space. I True. want to be a paying True. customer. So let me sit in that chair. Are you using this chair? What are you going to say? Yes. For who? For my purse? You're not going to fucking say it. Yeah. Okay, well, like, I'm going to take it. Sorry. So I take that chair. And, or I tell Stevie to stand guard of that chair. I see the other chair. Hey, ma'am, are you using this chair? No, you can take it. She was nice about it. Took the chair. And, um, 
you know, just nicely asked a lady to scoot the fuck down a little bit. Like, we were obviously trying to create space, and the lady could have easily, without us having to ask, could have been like, oh my, if I was, if I was in that situation, if I was that lady, I would be like, oh, I'll just move down a seat. Exactly. Yeah. But instead, I'm like hovering over you, and then finally I'm like, excuse me, do you mind if you just like scoot over like two inches? Yeah. I don't know. It, it's a whole thing. But we found space at the bar. Mm-hmm. A lady bought us a bottle of wine. Yep. It was a whole adventure within itself. Service was not great, but we ended up um, we ended up having a really good night. Yeah, the food was good. The we food drank was really good. a lot of wine. Yeah, and the, show um, the show was, was really yeah, good. Was we excellent. got upgraded our seats, so yeah. it was it was a really good night. I mean, it started off a little rocky. Yeah, and then you know it's just so tough because we took a lift home, and a lift like I mean it's twenty dollars, so it's not that crazy. Yeah. And it was nice to just get home, but I did not feel safe going back to the train. No. I mean, even no. when we got off the train at like 3 o'clock, it was just like... It felt unsafe. It felt unsafe. There was lots of drug abuse happening yeah. and just like people posted up mm-hmm. and it just didn't feel safe. And I always forget that, but Newark Penn Station is just not a safe feeling it's a place. Shithole. It's a fucking shithole. Yeah, it really is. So anyway, um, if anybody's trying to take go to Newark Penn Station, I suggest they don't. <laughs> like if you're trying to get into Newark, I would definitely take a lift. Yeah. Um but anyway, so we are drinking. I got this from when I went on the field trip to the farm. And it's a pineapple moscato from Tomaseo Winery. Um I haven't tried it yet, have you? Oh yeah, I just took a sip. Sorry. Cheers. 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 It's good. It's sweet. It's like, but it's also tart. Mm. But it is pineapple-y. But yeah, but it tastes like pineapple. Oh. I would probably add some soda water to it if I had it, but. Do we have soda water? I don't think so. I think God we do like. damn it. I think we do like up, but like I can't grab it. Yeah. All right. Well, pineapple Moscato Tomasello Winery. I like it. It's 6.5% alcohol. The back says, this delightful Tomasello pineapple Moscato is a blend of natural pineapple and Moscato wine, which creates a lush combination of tropical pineapple and honey melon character. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Okay, so let's get down to what we actually came here to talk about, which is the first episode of Bachelor in Paradise. It was trashy. You know what, we, though? It kind of had a slow start for me, though. You know what? It has a slow start, but you have to introduce these characters. And also, yeah. this is what I was telling you last night, is that a lot of these people, since especially since they didn't do Bachelor in Paradise last year, mm-hmm. I haven't seen a lot of these peop- these characters or contestants for like three or four right, years. Right, right. There's like Peter season, which yeah, seems like a lifetime, lifetime ago. ago. And so like, I was looking at some of these people, and I was like, who are you? Right. There's who are people- you again? Right. Exactly. Well, they started off, so so David Spade, I don't know if he'll be back. I don't know if he's just hosting one episode. Well, I'm not really sure. It's very confusing because, so I, I don't know how many weeks Bachelor in Paradise is going to be because this week it was only Monday, but next week it starts being on it's, Monday and Tuesday. It's probably, when does Dance with the Stars start? Okay, well, Dance one, with the Stars starts on the 22nd of September. Three, four, five. So it's probably five weeks. The 22nd, five weeks. that's, a, that's oh, a Wednesday. Sorry, the 20th. The 20th. Okay, okay, so yeah, so it, it, that makes sense. About 10 episodes. Usually they kind of do mm. that where it's, you know, four four hours a week instead of two hours a week. Yeah, yeah. So what I think is going to happen, because the only other celebrity um, host that they've mentioned is Titus Burgess, Lil John, who I cannot wait, who I think he might be hosting next week. Okay. At least they insinuated mm-hmm. that he was. Um, who else? There's Titus there's gonna, Burgess. There's going to be... Um, Lil John, Lance Bass. Lance Bass. Titus. Maybe David Spade will do another one since he only got one day. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I think maybe, like... I, I'm not really sure how the how the flow of it's going to work. Yeah, me either. I'm just happy Wells is there. Yeah. Um, and he was he was funny. Um, David Spade, you know, he's a little... He's, he's sort of self... Deprecating. De- deprecating. Yeah. Um, but I think it worked, you know, like that kind of humor worked. Right. Because I get it. Like he probably feels a little overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> but he did a good job. I mean, it was really funny that some of the contestants had no idea who he was. Right. I right. just assumed everybody knew who David Spade was. 
I feel like he's one of those people that even if you haven't seen movies that he's done, you just know who he you is. You know who David Spade is. Yeah, but I guess some people don't. Don't. I guess some people don't fucking know who David Spade is. Well, he introduced Abigail first. So Abigail was the first one on the beach. She is so freaking cute. She's cute as a button. Um, she went on a, she got the first date card. She got the first date card and she picked. Noah. Noah. Noah was on Tasha's season and he was the one with the mustache and she shaved off his mustache right. and she was like, I don't like you without a mustache. And I'm like, or she said, I, I do like you without a mustache. Right, like I don't like the mustache. And he yeah. Was like, he, I think he looks good. Like, I like seeing a different side of him. Yeah. I liked him sweet. and Abigail together. I yeah. liked how Abigail, like, opened up about, you know, how she, about her fears about, like, moving super fast. And he's and he was like, okay, well, you realize you're on a fast-moving fast dating show. show. Yeah, like, so we don't have to get have engaged to. at the end of this, but, like. Yeah, and he kind of made that clear, too, is, like, we don't have to get engaged at the end of this, but I would, would like a relationship. Exactly. That was so cute. They, they busted Broke the open pinatas. the pinatas. Yeah, what did she say? The pinatas? The pin, she couldn't the pin, say pinatas. Yeah, she couldn't say it. She's so cute, man. Yeah, she really is fucking adorable. So, I'm excited. I think Abigail and Noah might be... Like, something that works out? Something that I mean, works there out. is a lot of... There is sections of her crying. Mm-hmm. In the previews, but yeah. I could literally be over anything. You know, sometimes you just get sometimes stressed they do out. Fake fake outs too. They do fake outs, or you get, you know, it's crazy. And I'm sure somebody will come in and Noah will be like, "Oh, well, maybe I'm guessing or whatever." But they seem mm-hmm. cute for right now. Right. Um. The next person who came in was Grocery Store Joe, who doesn't own a grocery store anymore, but we still are able to call him that. He even said that. He himself. said that. He said that. So, um, yeah. Grocery Store Joe is my favorite. I love grocery store Joe. I like him because he seems real. That I'm talking to, but instead, his ass. Well, first of all, he had a whole period where he like moped, and he's like, I don't know if I should be here. He definitely fell out of his element because he was already in this element. He was already in this element. He's He's one of the older contestants. He left here. He fell in love with Kendall. They had a long relationship. I mean, there's a lot of baggage with Joe, right? And he like, yeah, totally. But Joe seems very sincere, but. He's interested in Serena, and they they kissed and everything. But like, I don't know. There's just, I don't know. There's just something about him being thirty five and her being twenty three that really turns me off. It just I know. seems like such a big. Eight. He's like, she's like, well, you know how old I am, right? And he's like, yeah, I don't care. And I don't know. Like twenty three just seems so young when somebody's seems, 35. Yeah, it seems really young. And also on top of that, if it didn't work out with Kendall and him because of distance Mm -hmm. my first conversation would be with anybody before I got in a relationship with them is how do you feel like about moving right you know what I mean like I know that that's a heavy subject but at the end of the day like you said this is fast Fast paced paced. you gotta you if you're really here to you know find love be in a relationship potentially leave engaged yeah you gotta ask the hard questions first and for joe that's obviously a deal breaker he obviously doesn't want to leave his parents in chicago Mm -hmm. or whatever that whatever he has in chicago he obviously doesn't want to leave there right so is serena willing to leave canada canada i don't know like can serena it seems like they go on a date like in a preview it it seems like joe said he was in love with her he was in love with her but they could have been you know I'm not really sure. Maybe, I'm not really sure where that's going. Maybe he goes on a date with Kendall Mm. and then he falls in love with her He falls back in love with Kendall and he's like, I'm willing to move for you. I love him and Kendall together. I love them together too, but I was just listening and I didn't realize they've been broken up since January of last year. They've been broken up a long time, yeah. So they've been broken up for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if they haven't rekindled their romance yet... But maybe, maybe this is like maybe seeing each other because they maybe they had just haven't seen each other. Yeah, they probably haven't seen each other. You know, for if a they year broke and a half. up, they're probably not just like hanging out as friends. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know. Yeah. Okay, that's what I hope happens. I hope he's not saying it to Serena P. I hope he's saying it to Kendall. Yeah. Has Joe? We'll have to do some some digging because he said you're the second girl I've ever said I love you. Or he said you're only you're the second girl I've ever been in love, love with. Love with. He said so that. So has he said he's been in love before? Four on Bachelor in Paradise and the last Bachelor in Paradise. I don't know. I guess we'd have to like look it up. Maybe yeah. it's just a pipe dream for me to think it's Kendall, but I know Kendall shows up and I really like him and Grocery Store Joe together. Yeah, I, I really like them together. I just love Grocery Store Joe. I know. I, I just think he's so normal. Yeah. I <laughs> like, agree. I just love that about him. I lo- now, do I want 
part of Bachelor, what makes Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise so fun is because these people aren't just your average Joes. Right. You know, so it's sort of like, oh my God, like, it's, it's easy to get distracted in their, like, lives mm-hmm. because they're not real. Right. To right. me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But Joe just seems so real. Right. So I like having that, like, peppered in a little bit. Oh, I agree. Because if it was, like, if there was just, like, 15,000 Joes on the beach, it might be a little too normal or right. a little too real. Right. And it's like, I already live a fucking life. Yeah. With normal people. I don't need to, wa- like, I don't also want to turn on my TV and see just, I mean, I want to see normal people, but you know what I'm trying to say, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Totally, totally. Um... So it's nice to have Joe in there. So Joe comes in and he says that he's interested in Serena P. Yeah. Well, then guess what happens? Anybody could have guessed this. Ivan walks in and guess who he wants to see? Serena P. Serena P. And then guess who else walks in? Brendan. And who did Brendan say he wanted to see? Did he say Serena P? I think he said Serena. No, Brendan likes the black girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He likes uh, Natasha. He likes Natasha. Yeah. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know. I just feel like maybe he really liked Tasha. He I feel said like, he was I feel like he has a strong Natasha preference. And ta- yeah, so maybe he just yeah. has, like, a stronger preference to yeah. black ladies. I think he cool. does. I think he does. Yeah, good for you, dude. Um, Because you could tell. Like, when he saw Claire, he was like, okay. But when he saw Tasha, Tasha he, was like, he was like, hey, Tasha. I mean, black, white Tasha is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Like, she's... She's, like, legit beautiful. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Abigail came in. We talked about Joe. Ivan came in. We haven't really seen that much from Ivan yet, but he was looking good. Yeah, he's cute. I mean, he, he has such a cute good. face. He does. He has a Oh, my really God, everybody face. was making fun of Joe because he wore, like, just, like, a T-shirt. Sure, and, like, and like gym shorts. Like, gym shorts. Everybody's making fun of him. And I love that. Like, I love that yeah. he just, like, came in, like... He, he wasn't didn't dress, like, with his, like, not. shirt. Exactly. Like, he was just... He We're t- not saying that these guys that, like, these guys, like, Brendan looked really good and really nice, but he dresses that way. Exactly, and, like, he has, like, like a... style. Yeah, that's, like, curated to, like, his body type and... Right. Like, he's fashionable. Right. Where Joe is literally, like, this He's just, just a amazing, dude. Like, he's literally just a dude. Average dude. Exactly. So, um, I like Ivan looked really nice. Brendan looked really nice. Mm-hmm. Kelsey came in. That whole thing was weird. Was so if you guys didn't weird. watch, Kelsey brought a bottle of champagne to open with David Spade, but David Spade couldn't open the cork. And it was just... She's, like, awkwardly standing there, and then he... They're, like, not talking. It literally felt like 15 minutes. That's what I'm saying about slow pace. Like, yeah, I was like, what it is just happening? felt like there was a lot of just moments. Dead air. A dead air moments. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, maybe every first episode is like that. Because once you get to the second episode, they have, like, the... The Almost Paradise. Ah, uh, yes. I can't wait yes, for the opening. I can't wait for the opening. It's going to be so good. It's always so fun. Um, yeah, and then at the end, after Kelsey walked away, David, like, threw the champagne out of the glasses. And I'm just like, what? What is happening? Like, that was a weird. It was Although weird I will show. say, Kelsey, glow up. Bitch looked good. She looked really good. She looked good. Um, Definite glow up. Uh, Noah came in after that. He's with Abigail as of right now. I'm excited now. to see more of Noah. I'm excited too. We we only saw his like goofy side mm-hmm. on Tasha's season, and we knew Tasha was never going to pick him, so nobody was ever Rooting. invested in right, him. Right, right, right. Um, Cat Connor came in. Cat Connor, uh, I guess, is into Marissa. Who, yeah. Who was Marissa? I can't remember. Maybe she, I think Marissa I, was on. Peter sees I'm like looking at this girl and I'm like, I swear to God, I have never seen you. I think ever. Marissa was on Peter season. I think I kind of remember her. I don't think she made it that far. I feel but... like I would have remembered her. Like, she's wearing so much makeup. She's had so much, like, Botox. Like, you can just tell. Like, she's had right. Botox. She's had her lips filled. Like, that can't be now. Or at least she's overdrawn her lips. Like, yeah, yeah. So much makeup. Like, I feel like I would have remembered her. Maybe she didn't look like that on Peter's maybe season. Maybe she, I gotta like, look up some pictures she's... of her. Now we, maybe now she's just wearing a lot of makeup. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see throughout the season because you see these people come in smelling fresh and looking fresh. And towards the end of the season, you're like, oh, because it's hot and sweaty there and they don't turn on the fucking air conditioning for you. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, so um, we'll see. But Connor sort of hooked up with Marissa, mm-hmm. and they um, both said that they weren't gonna kiss anybody the first, first night, night, but and they, then kissed, they each other. kissed each other. And Connor, at least from looks, looks like maybe he did some practicing. Maybe he went to a little kissing school because it didn't look as aggressive. Yeah, Connor's and Marissa cute. said he was a good kisser. So, and she seemed generally giddy. I don't genuinely think Katie ever about said it. Connor was a bad kisser. Mm, she insinuated it. You think so? Yeah, it's in his kiss. Yeah, seriously. Like, sometimes people, we had this conversation, people aren't bad kissers. You just have to find the right person to kiss. Yeah. So, Connor just wasn't Katie's person to To kiss. kiss. I don't think Connor's a bad kisser. I think he could be a little aggressive sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, okay, Kitty, calm down. Down. (laughs) But. Yeah, no cat references this time. I don't think he's a bad kisser. Yeah. Okay. I like that idea. Um, but they, I like Connor. I think he's sweet. He's I sweet. Love I loved his, his song little, yeah, in the beginning. That was really cute. I think I think Connor's cute. We obviously, I feel like we obviously know he doesn't end up with anybody though because of the men tell all when that that girl we found out she was staged. She was a plant. Oh yeah, but she was planted there, and it's like if he was with somebody, he wouldn't be making out with somebody. So they just ruined Bachelor in Paradise for his love story. Maybe he, exactly like in, even if he leaves with somebody, he obviously didn't stay with, stay them, with them after Bachelor in Paradise. So we know the ending, but we don't know the journey. So it's I mean it's yeah you know it's you a little spoiled, but it's not forever. It's not it's expired, but it's not spoiled. Yeah, totally. Tajwan. Okay, so Tajwan is Taj hilarious. Wan. She's always sweating. She's always hot. That's how I would feel. That's, that's how I would be. That, I, yes, and another real person because that's how I would be too. I'd be like, yeah, I kind of like Tajwan. It's fucking hot in here. How's yeah. anybody doing anything? Like, how does anybody look okay? How is oh. anybody surviving? Well, that's what Kelsey said. Kelsey said that she had a really bad sweating problem, so she put milk of magnesium, milk of magnesium, yeah, on her face, which is actually a laxative. Yes. And girl, no fucking judgment because maybe I'll fucking try that. I'll try it. Because I'll like, try. I feel so like my upper sweat. lip sweats. My upper lip sweats too. Like really bad, and just like, yeah. Why only my upper lip? I don't know. But maybe, maybe that's something we should try yeah I should look before summer's over for sure um because bitch didn't look like she sweat no she looked fucking good she looked really um good. Tajwan needs to try it because she was sweating <laughs> she was sweating she was hot there was bugs everywhere like, everywhere and she was freaking out well but this is this is Tajwan's thing yeah and so her and Trey hooked up but Tajwan has supposedly gone on a date with Trey's uncle. Now, I want to know, how old is this uncle? Is this one of those weird things where, like, the uncle is younger than Trey? Right, or they're, or like, the same age. They're the same age, exactly. Or is this uncle fucking, like, 25, 30 years older than Trey? Yeah. I don't know. Dipping in the family pool is a little weird to me. Um, and how they all know each other is also a little strange. I guess they're all right. part of... But not the uncle. Not the uncle. The uncle's not part of no Like, fucking... how did she meet his fucking uncle? But without meeting Trey. Exactly. Like, it would make sense if she was like, you know, Trey and I knew each other a little bit before Paradise. Because they're all in the right. sort of fandom of Bachelor. But, but how did she meet his, his uncle? uncle? This like, is we the need the deets on this, Tajwan. They better one. fucking tell us. They better not just be like the first episode where they're like, yeah, I dated her uncle, and then all of a sudden her and Trey we are together. We never hear about it. Again. Like, I need to know about this fucking uncle. Yeah. I need to know what he looks like. I need to know his age. I need to know how they met. I yeah. need to know everything. I'm I invested in this story. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, <laughs> uh, I, like, I like Trey. Yeah. I liked him on Katie's season. For the most part, I didn't like how he brought in some drama, but. He and he friends have, himself. He friends owned himself, but he did have moments of, like, he just seems like a fun guy. Yeah. He just seems silly and a little quirky, and, and he says funny things. So there, but I didn't like that he kind of put himself into the drama. Yeah. But at that point, he knew he was never going to win Katie's heart. So it's sort of like, I might as well say something. Because I, yeah. I spend more time with these boys than I spend with fucking Katie, and I know it's not going to work out with Katie, so. Right. True. You know, I mean, like, you know, there's always a ulterior motive. Totally. Um, even when it's with good intentions. Yeah. Um, Tammy, I don't really give a fuck about her. She's a little annoying to me. Yeah, I feel like she's created drama, too. I think Katie Thurston's, like, really all for Tammy. Katie Thurston's all for Tammy? Yeah, like, t- like Katie Thurston, I think, loves Tammy, like, is rooting for her. Oh. That's what I saw on her Instagram story. She's like, I'm team Tammy. But, like, I can't really remember Tammy. I feel like Tammy was part of the drama. I feel like Tammy was part of the drama, and I just feel like I never, I just feel like I never cared for her. Yeah. 
like I just feel like I never cared for her like I didn't think she was an interesting person I didn't think she had really had anything to bring to the table now I could be completely wrong I obviously don't know her as a person watch we end the season Tammy is our fucking favorite we'll see we'll let you know maybe <laughs> she will be I don't fucking know you know people have turned the tables on us before or, yeah. I can't pinpoint anybody right now but there I know there's been people on Bachelor in Paradise where we've turned around and we're like oh damn like oh but oh you know who we have done with that with yeah. Jordan, Gold Speedo. Yes, yes. I hated him. I hated on him. On Hannah Brown? Uh, Hannah Brown season? Was it yeah. Hannah Brown season? I think so, yeah. I couldn't stand but him. I loved him on Bachelor in Paradise. But I loved him on Bachelor in Paradise. I agree. Who was he with? He was with that girl that everybody said she was like an alien. Je- Je- Jenna. Jenna. Like, her name's Jenna, I think. Yes. Yeah. What they were both with like that? super pretty. No, what happened with that is supposedly, like, she, supposedly he said she was cheating on him, but somebody had, like, made fake texts, and she got the FBI involved to investigate, and somebody had curated these fake texts and what? sent them to J- Jordan. I don't know. Like, just, like, weird shit. But she's, like, engaged now. She has a baby. She oh. has her little pig. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's happy. Good to know. She's happy, and he's engaged now, too. Oh, he is? She's so this cool. really cute girl. I don't know. I, she's not part of Bachelor Nation or Aww. anything, but they just, like, bought a house together. That's really nice. Yeah, they're both happy and everything. Okay, good, but, good. I'm happy for I him. I liked their relationship on Bachelor in Paradise. I agree. Like, and I ended up liking him. Yeah. I ended up loving John Paul Jones. Yes, exactly. Like, he was he was cool during Hannah Brown. I can't remember. He was Hannah Brown season. But we didn't see, like, much of him, but then, like, he was just a laugh riot on... And I ended up like Tasha, liking Tasha more on Bachelor in Paradise. That's true. I didn't really care for Tasha on, on Colton, Colton season because it was re- it, and it still is hard to read Tasha. But now that I feel like I understand her a little bit more since we did get so much airtime with her on Bachelorette, right? I do like Tasha, and I almost appreciate that she's a little hard to read mm-hmm. because I think, especially as a woman, mm-hmm. and especially as a black woman, yeah, like you know, you sort of need that like toughness. Yeah. You know? And I feel like Tasha's tough, but she's still, you know, sweet. sweet And she's professional. Yes. But she's still fun. I actually really like Tasha. She's one of my top bachelorettes ever. uh, Yeah. I I really like Tasha. I think what we've talked about this before, if they're going to choose between Caitlyn and Tasha to replace... At least the bachelorette. Like yeah. maybe they go the route of a man, a, a man, a man for the bachelor, a woman for, for the, the bachelorette. bachelorette, and then they could have guest stars for Bachelor in Paradise. I don't mind. That. Yeah, exactly. I could um, dig that. I could dig that. I could dig that. Then I would go with Tasha. Tasha. I would not go with Caitlyn. I'm sorry, Caitlyn. You stick with your podcast and your wine and stuff. Like you're good at that, but I just but don't she doesn't think have that professionalism that that Chris Tasha, Harrison brought. That Chris Harrison brought that Tasha also brings to the table. Exactly, where Tasha can still have fun, but Caitlyn's all fun. Yeah, like I don't feel like she brings that. Yeah, that balance. That balance. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Fucking Victoria came. Oh my God, the queen is dead, people, but the goddess is here. She's a lot. She's too much. I never thought she would change. Like, there's just some people in this world that they are who they are, and they can never change because they don't see a prop. They have no. They have no shame. They have no guilt about anything. Yeah. And they don't even. They just don't realize that they're they literally just, a different they just breed of person. Truly, they're just in an alternate. Universe fucking universe where like everything happens else. to them and then the, the majority of the people you know what i mean yeah totally totally i just don't think that she's i don't want to say she's not a good person i just think that she's does not live on the same planet as everybody else around and she us. doesn't she's gonna i don't know how long she's gonna last but she's like these guys need to talk to me i want to be wanted i want to be this and it's like nobody wants you though because you showed your true fucking colors End she's of story. A lot. She's a lot. She's a, she's just too much. She's just too much. I mean, Brendan said he got a big whiff of her. He was like, I took a big whiff. And yeah, she smelled, smelled good. good. I was like, okay, weirdo. Yeah. Um, but, but smelling good only gets you so far. Because I'm sure the second she opened her mouth, everybody was like, ugh. Right. And so, it seemed like when she arrived, people were Their almost, demeanor changed. Their demeanor changed. It was almost like they were happy that she was 
there because they almost felt more validated because at least they know there's a crazy person with them and they won't be the crazy person Ooh. at least for a while during the season because and she's yeah. going to fulfill that She's going to fulfill that role. And not only that, but it's she's no competition. Right. Now, I'll bite my tongue off if that's just not true, if somebody comes in. You know, Carl, fucking have her. Yeah, Carl and You guys Victoria. go be crazy together. Please don't have babies. Yeah. And have crazy little babies, but whatever. If you guys want to be in a relationship, fine, whatever. Run off into the sunset. Yeah, she's just a little too much. Um... Big booty Mari. Big booty Mari. She is a fucking babe. She is a babe. She was like, she was like, I got a big butt. And I was like, do you? And then I looked and I was like, mm, girl, oh. you look good. She's cute. She's really cute. She's 25 though. And yeah, she's she's talking older than to, that. No, she, I thought she was older than that too. But when she was talking to Kenny, who's 40, mm-hmm. he was like, how old are you? And she said 25. And she's like, but I've dated older men. men. Yeah. She said she prefers older men She too. prefers older men. Yeah. But she looked like, I thought, I honestly thought she was like in her 30s. I think Not so. because she looks old. She just looks mature. She just looks mature. Yeah. She just looks like. She looks like a really well put together, established, like, sexy business lady, I feel like. Oh, totally. Like, I could see her, like, being, like, the sexy CEO of a company or something. Right, totally. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if she's smart. I don't know if that, I'm that's her thing. I don't know what she does. But... to learn more about her. Yeah. I like her. I like her a lot. Um, Kenny. Oh, and I, I, I watched this today mm-hmm. on um, Bachelor Fan Take. Mm-hmm. Is Kenny wasn't really naked. What was he wearing? He was wearing a little Speedo. Oh, he was. So what happened is, I mean, it was a little Speedo. Yeah. Like, it was a baby Speedo. But um, they forgot to, if you go back and watch, mm-hmm. they actually forgot to put a black bar on him at one point of the day. Mm-hmm. And you can see that he's wearing clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can't be walking around naked. Well, first of all, he has to be mic'd up. Like, where are you going to put the mic? That will Unless- wear the necklaces. The guys wear yeah, the but the, the Yeah, but they still have to put the pack somewhere. No, the, the necklace is the pack. Like, it's a little tiny microphone. And no, the because there's a, cord. there's a, there was a, when I watched the fan take, there was like a wire going down his back. Mm. Like, he has to put the pack somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Um, Usually they're just wearing like the little necklaces. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. He, he was wearing, he was wearing. Wearing a they, Speedo. He was wearing a little tiny Speedo. I'm sure it was little. Yeah. And I'm sure you could see everything. everything. <laughs> so... You know, it is what it is, but yeah, honestly, showing up naked is, I don't think I would like it. Like, that's awesome that you're brave and you're not afraid to show yourself, but I just feel like it's a little disrespectful. Yeah. I guess because nobody wants to see that. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Well, it saves some mystery Well, exactly. For later. It's just like, I just feel, I just feel like, you know, he's going around giving people hugs. It's like... I would feel weird hugging you. And then it's like, I don't want to look, but when I'm talking to you, I'm going to be looking at your fucking penis. Like, I have no choice. It's like a car wreck. You got to look. You got to look at the car wreck. You know what I mean? So I do feel like it'd be a little bit disrespectful to show up completely nude. Yeah. So I'm actually happy to learn that at least he was wearing a little something. Right. Um, But yeah, he showed up naked. He always had like a black box on him. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he showed up naked, which I thought, you know, was for all intents and purposes is like funny, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he looks good for 40. Uh, him and Mari I'm excited are, to learn more about Kenny, I'm excited too. to learn more about him. Because I don't feel like we knew, know too much about them. No. We talked about Marissa and Connor. Fucking crazy Carl is on. And then last. Well, no, there's, a, there's that one girl with the blonde hair. I cannot remember who she is. I think she was from Peter's season. I just like, and I, I don't think she lasted very long. Sarah or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. There was there was a couple people that they didn't even introduce. Like they we just, were like, just walked down. We're they like, were okay. just they just walked down, or like they didn't even walk down. They didn't show them walking down. They just showed them on the beach. And I'm like, when did this person get here? Mm-hmm. Who are they? Why are they here? Right, right, right. We'll um, see. We'll see. Maybe we'll learn yeah, we'll more see. about them. Uh, I'm not excited about Carl. Okay. No, but, you know, they always have to have a drama starter, and he'll definitely start drama, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, and then, last to come in, as a cliffhanger, of course, because how could you not have a cliffhanger, especially in Paradise. Demi. Um, was Demi. And she straight up said, like, I'm here to fuck shit up. So, and Demi never disappoints. She's always fucking shit up. Yeah. So, um. But there is something I like about Demi, because she really is just... Who she is. Exactly. It's different. It's different than Victoria. Victoria. 
I can't put my finger on it. I can't describe it. I know it's not fair that Demi gets to be, basically, let's be honest, Demi gets to be exactly like Victoria, Victoria. but Victoria gets a bad rap, and Demi, it, when she does it, it's, like, cute. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but if you need to compare but personalities. I feel like Demi, at least, has, she's, like, you know, this badass bitch, and she says what she says, and she means what she means, and all this stuff, but... We've seen Demi have humility. We've seen her apologize. apologize. We've seen her feel bad for an action she didn't realize hurt somebody Funny. in the process. You're right, and you're right. She has, you know, yeah. apologized or she has, you know, said we've seen her like truly, you know, look happy and be happy. Where like Victoria is just like a shit show. Yeah. So I think they are different. Yeah, you're right. They are. That was that was brash of me to well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. And who knows? Maybe Victoria will fucking redeem herself, but I doubt it. I doubt it too. I, I mean, like saw her in an interview, um, like a couple days ago, and she just seemed, she just seemed like the same person. Exactly. You know what I mean? And yeah. Whatever. You be the person you want to be. I don't know you in real life. I'll never know you in real life. Don't care to know you in real life. Don't care to know you in real life. But, you know. Yeah, I just, I, I'm just not a big fan of Victoria. Yeah. So, there's that. Yeah. So, so, I'm excited for next week. Yeah. There'll be an episode on Monday and on Tuesday, so make sure that you're listening. We're going to start actually doing um, live, live, uh, like, like, live Instagram, stories, yeah. live stories on Instagram in real time, watching the video, so make sure you catch that so you know our opinions right then, right there, mm -hmm. all the juice, all the gossip. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna go by. We're gonna blink our eyes, and it's gonna be over, people. Yeah, probably so, live tweeting. Live tweeting, yeah. Um, so spoilers, he he he, ho ho ho. Um, so yeah, well, we're gonna do that. It's gonna go by really fast, but I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Um, to talk about it, and then it's Dancing with the Stars. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm so excited. Oh, I've never been more excited. I want them to announce the lineup. I know. Come on. They do it like the week before. Yes, yeah, seriously, no yeah. shit. But I'm really excited for that. So, twin talk, twin talk. Yay.